I'm sure this has happened to you before you have a meeting and you're rushing to prep for the person they're gonna chat with. You gotta go find out their LinkedIn, some bio information on them, right? We've all been there. Now I have an automation that helps me with this. Check this out. I'm here in my Notion CRM and let's say that I have a, a new contact that I'm chatting with. Let's make this larger and let's do some of the details. And let's say that I just have their email, jamiediamondatchase.com. And I have to go and do some research on this individual that I'm going to chat with. Now I can click this button here and this automation is going to kick off. All right, and we're back. That took roughly 10 seconds or so. And now I have a bio of Jamie Diamond. I have their LinkedIn URL. I have their role, their location. And I also have this really nice write up here. Their achievements, education, areas of expertise, and links that I might want to check out to learn more. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this. First, I'm going to give you a little bit of context. Then I'll give you an overview of the overall workflow, all the different components. And then we're going to do a full build out from scratch. I think for most people, when you think of LLMs, you think of chatbots. And that is definitely a very good use case for LLMs. But there are a number of different other use cases where LLMs can be helpful. This is an example of data enrichment. Essentially, you're taking a data point and you're enriching that with more information and research insights. You saw that I just had an email. Now I have a bio. Now I have a nice report just based off of that email. This can be useful for sales teams that are trying to enrich leads, recruiters that are gathering information on folks that have applied for a role or even investors and consultants that can quickly get up to speed before particular meetings. First, let me give you an overview of how this system works, and then we're gonna get into the full build. You saw the, the notion, that's my front end, that's my CRM, that's where I'm keeping all of my information. I have Pipedream as my middleware or my orchestrator of these different services, the front end and the back end. And then I have a microservice hosted on a Replit VM. And I use Replit both to build out the microservice and also to host it. Really helpful there. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about that. And then we're in that service, we're reaching out to external services like Tavali for search and OpenAI for intelligence. So we're bringing in their, um, their LM. So let me walk you through this in a little bit more detail. The button is triggering a webhook that is sending the email and a trigger to pipe dream, which then will take that email and send it to my microservice here that will then search Tavali, get results, then send those results to OpenAI. OpenAI will do some more research on that, put it together, and then return a structured package of all of the different things that I care about. So that's the location, the bio, the role, and also the detailed report. That gets sent back to Pipedream. And then in Pipedream, I am updating the variables of that contact in my database. And then I'm also adding the full report in that page as well. And I'm gonna walk uh, through that in much more detail in just a moment, but I just wanted to give you a high level overview. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our Notion database and set up that button. Then we're gonna set up the Replit VM that is hosting the AI service. Then we're gonna stitch everything together with Pipedream. So let's walk through it step by step. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our database. So new database here in Notion, and we're gonna kind of call this Connections Demo 3. And then in this Notion database, I'm going to set up the variables that I care about. Now we're going to add our button. This button is going to trigger a webhook automation and is going to send the email as part of the payload. So we won't add a URL just yet. We'll get, we're gonna get that in a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and save that and we can even rename this button. We could have it um, 
called like get details so now that button says get details okay so now we have our front end set up and let's say that I have that email here so let's put that here as well and let's just um, leave that there now the next thing that I want to do is set up my AI microservice. Let's hop over to Replit and essentially this is a custom built microservice that takes a API call and then returns the uh, information that we care about. And I built this using Replit's AI agent for the most part. Um, just started with a simple request saying explaining what I wanted is that I wanted an API service that took an email that did research that then um, structured that uh, output in JSON and then delivered it back to the requester and going back and forth took me a couple of hours to get this right um, I finally uh, got something that was working so we can go ahead and run this and that I have a front end here and just to test it we can put in our email and it's going to test the API it's going to take just a second to come back okay awesome so you can see here that report and then importantly the JSON structure that is going to be returned this is what I'm going to use to update the notion CRM page okay and then to deploy it um, you can you can go with auto scale I use a reserved VM this is a machine that's always going to be on it's gonna cost you roughly six dollars per month to keep this VM up and running um, not that big of a machine but uh, enough to run that service and to always be ready to respond to requests that's the AI microservice that we have here that's going to be hosted on Replit. I already have my service deployed and we're going to be using that for the remainder of this tutorial. We've set up the front end. We have the AI microservice now deployed at this point, ready to receive requests, process the request and output it. Now we're going to bring everything together using Pipedream. Pipedream is going to be my orchestrator, my middleware that's going to help me stitch everything together. Let's head over to Pipedream. I'm going to start a new workflow and I'm just going to call it uh, People Researcher 3 and then I'm going to increase this timeout to roughly two minutes just to be on the safe side. We're going to create that workflow and the first thing that I want to do is I want to add a trigger and I want a new HTTP request and I'm going to save and save that and now I have my URL that I'm going to be using in the button that I created in Notion. So let me grab that and let me head over back to Notion and I'm going to go to edit property, edit automation, and here in this URL slot, drop that URL and save that. And now I can test this. So I'm gonna click this button and I expect a new event here in Pipedream. And there you have it. And then I want to look in particular for the email to come through. And so you can see that listed here in properties and email the Jamie Diamond at chase.com email because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna port this into the rest of our workflow all right so now I want to call this AI service and so I'm gonna set that up via a HTTP post request so um, ping AI service on Replit, just call it that. When you deploy your own service, you're gonna use the URL here, but I'm gonna use mine that I've already deployed. I'm gonna drop that in there. And then we're going to go to headers and we're going to drop in a slot for our password and we're gonna drop in the password that I have set up for my service and then we're gonna head over to the body you're gonna click on application JSON here and then we're gonna drop in 
this edit raw JSON and it's this slot for the email and then here what we want is we want the email for the particular request to get piped through so if you look here you can search for that variable and it should be under properties email and here is the path and we're gonna select the path so now every time I get a new request for that particular email it's gonna go through here okay so let's um, go ahead and test that and let's see if we get a um, good response on that so now what's happening here is that that is being sent over to my AI microservice it's going to run the search it's going to format everything it's going to return everything in a nice JSON package so and there we have it so here's a detailed report here's the full report in markdown that's important and then here are the variables that I care about now I want to update the notion variables and I also want to update the notion page with the full report so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna type in notion look for the notion pre-built actions and I want to is it append no it's probably update new page I believe Up, update page because it's already an existing page and then I can say um, update page details and here I'm going to select my Notion account that's already set up. Ah, okay. Um, in order for Pipedream to see my Notion database, this is an important step. I have to head over back to the database. And if I go here, make this larger, and I click here, and I move over to Connections, I want to enable Pipedream to see this particular database so that it has access to this database. And then I just want to make note of the database here. I'm going to head back over to Pipe Dream. And then I want to refresh this field. And hopefully I get that database pop up. And here it is Connections MO3. Perfect. Now it's going to ask me for the ID of the page in that database and again that is a that is something that I want piped in from the trigger because the trigger is going to have that information for that page and I want to do custom and I'm going to just type in here in search variables and scope to ID and I'm going to select this path so now it know now it knows a particular page in the database that I want to update now I want to list out the different properties that I want updated so here I want the location role the LinkedIn URL bio and the name as well I want to update all of these variables so we have that and now I have slots for all of these variables so here then I just want to look for those variables in my code here so if we go here to the package results location select that path and then the role again I just want to search for a role here and I'm searching here in that path and then again I'm gonna search the LinkedIn URL again I'm gonna go here to the JSON select the path again you always want to select path and then bio here which I think is under bio short summary I think I created it as short summary and that should be here's a summary yeah so it's right here and here's the short summary that I want there select path and then the name is going to be should just be named the, the full structured name that we're going to be that we're going to be getting from our AI service. So select that. And let's um, test that out. Okay, so let's test this. And we should go back to our page. And then you can see that that's updated here based on what we just inputted. So 
nice little test. But if you notice, I don't have the full report here. So now we're going to add that next. So head over back to Pipe Dream. We're going to want a new Notion action. But this time we're going to append a block. So add full report to page. Again, we're going to select our account and parent block ID, custom. We're going to look for the ID because that's a parent block. And then we're going to add markup contents. And here we're going to construct an array. And then we're going to look for the detailed report. And here it is. Again, we're selecting path. And then let's go ahead and test that. And let's go back to our Notion page. And here we should see a pop up. Nice. Very nice. That's our Notion page. Awesome. Okay, cool. But then you just deploy it. And now you have a custom service that is listening for those requests and um, ready to input that information. So let's go back here to our database and let's erase this. Okay, let's create a new page and let's put in the email again and let's say get details and then let's go back and see what happens. So you see the, the event comes in you can see it happening in real time. The event comes in, it pulls in the email. It's now pinging the AI service hosted on Replit. And that's going to take roughly 30 seconds or so to run. And then it's going to update the, the page details and add the full report. And we have it now here. I hope you enjoyed that setup. LLMs are useful beyond just chatbots. Uh, there are a number of different use cases that I'm really excited about. Data enrichment is one of them. I hope this gives you some ideas in terms of how to actually um, do this for yourself. Secondly is code generation is such a game changer. The, the fact that I was able to stand up that API service, that AI microservice, I would not have been able to have done that a year ago. It would be too technically complex for me. I'm a data scientist by training. I'm a data analyst. I'm not a software developer. But now with code generation and these different agentic tools, it's just really empowering. I encourage you to go out and build something similar, customize it to what you're interested in. And I'm including links to Notion, Pipe Dream and Replit, they're all affiliate links. If you want to click on those and sign up, you're supporting the channel and I would appreciate it very much. And if you have any questions or if you have any issues, drop them below and I'll try to get back to you. Cheers, have fun.